What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin Reed Show. I'm back with another action figure review and this time we have new figures today of the combatants fight for glory figures. So this is a new line of figures with these gladiator like I don't really know exactly what you'd call these figures but I'd say gladiator figures that would like fight in the Roman Colosseum and that's just what these figures look like to me. But these are figures made by Zesray Toys I think and they just look super cool so they just look like armored up guys ready to kick some butt and they all have their own unique identity. So over here on the side we have and I don't know how to pronounce all these names names exactly so I'm just gonna have to kind of wing it but we have Kanuba which is also known as Hyena then in the middle here we have Medicus also known as the Reaper and then we have Branthok also known as Devilfish which he's like a fisherman we'll, we'll look at the sides here so on the side we have a little explanation of the combatants fight for glory so their whole like little backstory thrown in there and then for each figure themselves we have a little information cards and then it gives a whole story down there but you can see like the figure there they have all kitted out and so like I said he's a fisherman so he comes with a trident and a fishnet and stuff so I'm excited to look at these figures just to see like like how they are like quality wise because obviously these aren't like name brand figures not made from like Hasbro or Bandai or anything so these figures were more expensive since they were a smaller company but hopefully we'll still see good quality so I'm excited to check them out and I hope you are as well so let me go ahead and get them out of the boxes and we'll take a look at each figure so let's start off with Medicus here also known as the Reaper so opening these figures and checking them out I think they're actually really good they're really nice figures there are some minor issues with it like especially if you see here on his legs it looks like he's kind of dirty and like some of the paint has scraped off especially like around where you see some silver stuff on his knuckles and everything but to me it also adds some details and looks like you know he's been in fights and is dirty and you know been in the arena and everything so I feel a lot of these marks aren't supposed to be there but they are just through paint rubbing but overall I think it kind of works because it like I said adds some dirt and like scrapes and scratches to him so it does kind of work with their looks and overall they're pretty nice like figure wise and stuff as we'll go through with the movements of course all three of these will be exactly the same so we're only gonna look at the movements on one because they will all be the same but they all look really nice the armor is really nice everything just about them just seems really Really nice there's just one little minor thing which isn't huge at all especially for us but one minor thing that I'll show with a couple of the figures but like I said for us it's not really going to be an issue at all but as you can see here in Reaper he looks really nice so his face there his hair is all slicked back he does have a beard style which is, looks really nice and the faces look really good so of course they're not based off anybody you no know, actors you know these are just made up figures but I think they do look really good they do look very humanish you can see he has like a scar on his face and it looks like he maybe has some like black eyes or some paint around his eyes but overall I think the faces look good and then go into the body you know the bodies look very muscular and like you can see the veins running down them and stuff just has a lot of details put into it has of course the six pack the armor pieces so we have like the big shoulder armor piece there armor going all the way down the arm which is cool and on the other side we have some leather wrapped around with an armor piece on the back of it and around their waist they do have the skirting so he has a red cloth material hanging all the way down but then has the belt wrapped around on top so i like the details of the belt you know it's very shiny has the nice silver buckles on it and all the details they put a lot of detail into these and down the legs we have some armor so we have have these nice big silver armor pieces here with the gold details so we have like all the floral designs and then a figure design of a guy holding a sword and shield looks awesome then we have the feet all wrapped up with the toes sticking out so overall they just look really nice like I can't really complain much about anything with the looks and stuff they look really cool on his back he does have some tattoos of one two three four five I don't really know exactly what that's supposed to be because obviously these aren't based off anything but overall he does look really good which as I mentioned they do have their own story so here's like the whole story for Medicus back here so it is a whole long story and I did want to read but it does seem pretty long so I didn't want to bore everybody. I'll try and slowly pan through so you can see and maybe stop it and read whatever you want to know his whole exact backstory that they gave him which is pretty cool that they actually did that. But let's look at the figure so for the movements his head can twist all the way around there and he can look down that far and up that far so you can kind of see some of his neck joint up in there it just looks like a dumbbell joint so pretty good movements there and it can kind of twist all the way around so it's got really good movements. Then for the shoulders they can come up 90 degrees there and of course we have some of the armor issue there but come up to 90 degrees they can rotate all the way around in there and it feels like there's a bit of a twist almost like a bicep twist but it is at the shoulder joint so you can see it twist out that far and in that far so that's something different we don't see too often then we have the single elbow joint there as you can see which can bend up to 90 degrees there so it bends up 90 degrees and has the rotation in it and that leads to our wrist which is on a ball joint so you can twist the wrist all the way around and then on the ball joint you can get the flex wherever the separation is in the ball so you can get it to move up and down there he has an ab crunch and twist at the midsection there so you can see the separation there for the crunch so he can crunch forward crunch back so really good and he can twist a little side to side he can't twist all the way around but he can twist side to side the hips can come up 90 degrees and out to the side that far now these have a ball joint up in there as well as you can see so it allows the legs to bend out there and you can pretty much do the splits but it does also have the thigh twist up in there we have a double knee joint that can bend up that far in the back which is really smooth knee joint which i really like so it bends up there pretty well and there you can see some of the paint coming off from the armor there and then we get the feet that can rock back and forth and twist side to side but then 
they also have an ankle joint, which is kind of hard to see on this one. On the others, we'll see them better. But there is a twist at the ankle, like right up in here as well. But like I said, on this one, it's kind of hard because of the armor around it. So as I said, it's got really good movements, no issues. It does have the ball joints that I hate, like McFarlane has, but it's very few. And where they use them, it works out. So it looks like up in the shoulders, the wrists, and up in the hips as well. But everywhere else is just like normal joints, like Marvel Legends and everything. So it actually works out really well. Now for these figures, since they are gladiator type characters, we do get a lot of weapons for them. And of course, I don't know like actual names for these weapons. So I'm just gonna have to go with whatever they look like to me. So first off, he has two swords. So he has two awesome looking swords here. So as what looks to me like a normal type sword, but it has the curve on the end of it there and a nice looking hand. So big thick handle and stuff to be able to hold it. And then the other one is a blade, but it has this like angle put into it, which looks really cool to me and really nice looking blade color. So it's got that like metallic design that looks like static or something with the design. Just really like that a lot. And then of course this one has a different handle. So they didn't just take the exact same handle and stuff and put a different blade on it. They are both different, which is cool. So let's go ahead and put one in his hand. And then he also does have a holder here on the back. So we can take one. So maybe like this angled one here and we'll just slide it down into his little holder back here. So it just sticks on him like that. And let's put this other one in his hand. So there I got the sword in his hand and it was a little difficult because the hands are pretty thick and stiff. So it was hard to get his hand opened a little bit to get the sword in there, but it didn't take too much. And it was able to go in pretty easily after that. And then he also comes with a shield. So this awesome looking shield. I really like the paint details, like just the shiny silver they chose looks awesome with the gold in the center. Just a very awesome looking shield design and it's got the handle straps there in the back so we can just slide this up on his arm. So there I just slid it up on his arm and with like his forearm armor and stuff it kind of helps like lock it in and everything so that actually works out pretty well. Or you could always take the strap and just slide it into his hand just to make it more secure. So there I got the sword and the shield and then he also comes with a helmet which is one of the weird helmet designs like I've always hated the look of these helmets just in general and that's what he comes with and I don't like it too much so it has this big piece with like the bonnet design there around the head so up top it looks almost like a weird horse or draft or just some weird creature has an extra little head there and then some wings on the side again with some gold on the silver and then the face covering piece with the gold in the middle and the gold coverings on each of the eyes so it is a helmet design i've seen before i just don't like it too much it does look like there's some issues where it came unglued or something out of the top so we'll just have to put a little bit of glue on it and get it glued right back in but no major deal there but then you can just take and slide this on his head to give him a helmet so there's about all i can do right now because the front piece keeps falling off as i showed you so i have to get that glued on to be able to do a little bit better but there he looks like he's ready for battle now in a gladiatorial arena just looks super awesome and the final accessory he comes with is this cape piece so you have this red cape that has some wiring in the sides of it so you can get it to bend and do whatever you want there but I like how it's all tattered and everything down at the bottom with the triangle cuts and then at the top it does have a clasp with a little button piece so it has the little piece that can just slide in there and button on so we can take and wrap this around him so there I got the cape on him and that looks pretty awesome so of course you just have to mess around with the cape but thankfully like I said it has some of the wire in there so you can get it to move around where you need it so as wire on the two front pieces and around the collar so you can get it adjusted there in the back as well so that looks pretty cool I wish the helmet was a little bit better with the piece not falling off because then I could maybe adjust it to make it look not so weird but overall I think that looks pretty awesome for this first figure of Medicus the Reaper and then we have Knuba if that's how you even say the name also known as the hyena and he looks pretty awesome here so this figure is probably one of my favorites just I love the way it looks so much so of course there's a look at his face so again very nice looking face details you can see some scarring designs but it also looks like the figure itself has some issues like maybe the face got scraped or something and so like some of the nose looks like it's been scraping off and everything but other than that it looks pretty good you know the eyes look really good it's got even some facial hair and then we have the body which looks really cool so over on this side he has a hyena tattoo up on his shoulder which is really cool has again the armor piece there on his forearm has the straps going up around his shoulder to the back with the big pad there on the right and speaking of his right arm he has this metal arm here so I don't know if he like lost his arm and this is a replacement or if his arm just covered in this metal but it looks pretty cool you can see all the scaling details in it which look pretty awesome that goes all the way down to the hand then he has like his skirty material but i like how he has this big belt on with uh looks to be like a bear head or something it looks like a bear head to me in the gold with the gold little spikes around it with the silver around them as well and the silver continuing there around to the back with the more whitish cloth material hanging down there and then some of the leather straps hanging in the front with the gold and silver and then going down his legs on his left leg we do have this armor piece here and the gold with the silver detailings and then on his right leg he doesn't have any armor piece but you can see the wrappings of the feet and there you can really see that ankle pivot. So as I mentioned though, everything else is going to be exactly the same like movements and everything. And I assume their bodies are pretty much exactly the same, just different for this one is the arm. So as I mentioned, we won't go over movements because they are all going to be exactly the same. So nothing really new to look at there. But of course, as I said, his name is Nuba maybe, but we have his card here and then we'll pan through it so you can see the name at the top, but he's also known as the hyena. And then of course we have his whole story that you can kind of pause and read through if you want to know all about him. But as I said, especially with the look of the picture there, overall, once we get the armor on this,
this one's gonna look so cool to me. So speaking of, he comes with a bunch of accessories. So first off, we have an extra arm for him. So we have an extra right arm. So if you don't want all the arm covered in metal, we do have this additional right arm that you can switch out, but it gives you a really good look at the shoulder joints, how it's designed. So it has that ball joint in there. So it just pegs in. So it like gives that nice up and down movement and allows for that movement back and forth. So it is cool. They gave you that extra arm if you didn't want to have the all silver one. And then for weapons, we get a sword and an ax. So again, I like the silver materials they chose for a nice shiny material with the texture and everything. So the action you can see has some dings in it and stuff like it's been used. And then the nice handle designs there as well. Once again, so we can put these in his hands. Now for him, he doesn't have anywhere extra to hold any other weapon. So unfortunately we just have to pick and choose, which for him, since the other one has a sword, maybe I'll put the ax in his hand. So there I got the ax in his hands. And he also comes with a helmet piece as well. So here is his helmet. So it's a, like all solid gold looking metal helmet, all completely solid. So we don't have to worry about any piece falling off this, but the two small eye holes there in the front. So probably wouldn't be great with limiting your eye range, but still nice looking all gold helmet overall so let's go and slide this down on his head so that helmet was a little bit more difficult because you had to just slide it on but it still slid on pretty easily it's just that one you have to kind of force down on now if you saw from the picture he also comes with a shield so this is a big shield that looks pretty awesome so i like the details on it with the nice character there on top of it nice designs there up on the corners and in the center we got this big silver ball surrounded by gold another one of the characters upside down and then i leave him like how it has the scratches and stuff so it looks like he's been battled and scratched up his shield and everything just looks super awesome and there's a look at the back of it so they put a lot of detail into all these figures and stuff you know you can see all like the rivets and everything just look awesome of course have the straps once again so let's go and slide this on his arm so there i got hanging it all armored out and he looks pretty awesome now the final thing he comes with is this material and i assume it's like a body covering design so it's almost like a white skirty material and then a strap that goes up over the shoulders with the nice silver clasps on in there but unfortunately like i've tried to get these on him and this is probably my biggest issue with these figures is i tried to get this on him but no matter what i do i can't get it on him because he's too thick either in the chest so sliding down over him it stops at the chest or sliding up I can't really get it past the bottom of his skirting because his legs are so thick so I don't really know exactly what to do if like you could take him apart but with this because of the stitching all the way around here it's you know limited to how far it'll open so I can't really get it on so I can't really show you what it looks like with him in this outfit and then of course the picture on the box doesn't show him with his cloth on or anything so I don't really know exactly how you're supposed to do it but without it though he looks super awesome like I just really love the look of this like I said this is probably my favorite one just by the look itself with the shield and everything just looks really awesome and finally we have Branthok or Devilfish as he's known and he looks pretty awesome as well this may be my second favorite just because of the accessories he comes with that I think is really cool but this one reminds me a lot more of the first one there you can see some of the paint stuff on him looks much dirtier and everything but again the face looks incredible so like I said for you know these not being based off actors or anything these faces just look incredible he looks super dirty nice like scarring on his head nice eye design and he looks super angry with the furled brow there and then the blonde beard and eyebrows just look super cool for this and for his outfit if he has the leather strap there around him once again going into the back he has the big armor plate up here on his shoulders so there we have a head nice gold armor with the silver detailing silver armor plating going down underneath that and all the way down the arm on the other arm he just has the leather straps with the silver armor on the back of it his waist he has the covering again with a gold belt with silver detailings and it's all in blue so we have the extra material hanging there in the front of course going down in the back with a knife holder there on the back of it and going down his legs so again he's really dirty there you can see he has armor on both of his legs so it's the darker silver armor with the normal silver on top so you can see a figure design there of a guy looks like he may be fishing or something i can't really tell and then there's some snake designs there on the bottom as well which look really cool going down to his feet that are wrapped up in all blue and you can see his toes there as well so overall just looks really nice so i like it because of the blue and then i just like his face design a lot is one reason why i like him a lot and then as i mentioned the accessories he comes with but of course before we have his cards so here is his card so if we go up you can see his name's Branthok also known as Devilfish and where he's from and everything and then his whole story um, going down you know explaining all about him and everything and of course the picture of him on the side there that makes him look really cool so let's go and look at his accessories so first off we have a little knife here so we have the knife again with the same blade material and a nice little simple handle there you know it looks like it would be something from this point in time especially if it's a homemade and everything so that looks pretty awesome so let's go and stick that into the sheath so it just slides back in there it was a little bit stiff but it wasn't too difficult to get it back in there but to me his coolest weapon is that he comes with this trident so this awesome looking trident so again it has the nice silver on it and 
all brown handle and then like a silver spike there on the end as well. So this looks really cool. So let's go ahead and stick this into his hand. So there I got the trident in his hand and that looks super cool. His last weapon that he comes with, I guess you'd call it, is this netting. So he has this netting material, obviously since he is like a fisherman style stuff, he comes with like this fishy net, which is a really nice netting material. You know, it does look very much like actual netting. So very nice netting here. So this, of course, I don't know exactly how you'd like using stuff, but you can just bundle it up and then just kind of stick it down in his hand. So you just take some of it and stick it into his hand there. So it's like, you know, dragging it into battle with him. So that just looks really cool there for him. That's why I like it so much. And then also with this figure, we also get another clothing material. But again, I could not get this on him either. And why I don't really know exactly how it would even work. You know, it looks like straps, almost like it'd be like suspenders or overalls or something. But I assume it goes on sideways, but I could not really figure out at all how you get this on him. Because again, with the sewn material here in the midsection, it only goes so far. So I could not get it slid over him or up over him either way. So I, again, I don't really know exactly how you're supposed to do this thing, but it is a nice looking material, nice designs, you know, with the straps and stuff. So it looks nice, but I just wish I could figure out how to get it on him. But other than that, I think it looks really cool. So it's awesome that he comes with the trident and then the fish net, which is just unique. So there are three figures of the first wave of the combatants fight for glory figures. Now, I think these are super awesome. As I mentioned, I do believe these are more expensive, but it's been so long since we've ordered them. I don't remember at all how much they cost, but I am pretty sure they did cost more for a figure because as I mentioned, it is a smaller company made by Zesray Studios. And just so you know, there is their logo down there of who made these figures. But I do think they are really good figures. Like I don't have really any issues with the articulation or anything at all. So for me, I have absolutely no issues with any of the articulation on these figures. And I think it's awesome. They come with all the accessories. Their looks are really good. Like I said, even though they're not based off real people, their faces look so realistic and good. So the only issue I really have is the cloth clothing they come with just because I can't figure out how to get them on their bodies. But let me know what you thought of these figures down in the comments. Do you like them? Do you want to pick them up for yourself? Just let me know in the comments. But if you enjoyed my review, please leave a thumbs up for me and hit that subscribe button down below. But I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review.